Good morning, everyone. Well, maybe it's not morning. Hmm. Guess it depends on whenever you're watching this. Well, hi, everyone. Welcome back. This is week three out of 10. Okay. So week three. This week, we're going to continue talking about the fruits of the spirit. Remember, these aren't real fruits, not like bananas and apples and oranges. This is what shows up in our lives. Okay. Today's fruit. Yes, last week we talked about love. This week we're going to talk about joy. Now, joy is actually one of the easy fruits, one of the ones that it's easy to remember and it's easy to think about. Joy is happiness. It's whenever we know that our sins are forgiven and we, we can be happy. I have a story for you. This story is about a lady who lost a coin. Now, this is actually really cool, okay? Because Jesus told the story. He told the story. It's in Luke 15, and it's in 8 through 10. So if you wanted to read this, if you're old enough to just go read it, you can go read this by yourself. It's two verses long. That's, that's a really, really short story, isn't it? It's like reading... Not even two pages. It's really, really short, huh? So, anyway, I'll go ahead and tell the story, though. Okay? So, this lady, she had some coins. Ooh, we like having coins, don't we? I have some coins here. I have a quarter. I have a nickel. I have a dime. And I have some pennies. I like these coins because these are shiny coins. There's no icky-looking ones, are there? No, they're pretty, aren't they? So, anyway, so this lady, she had 10 coins. I don't have 10 coins, but that's okay. So she had 10 coins and she lost one of them. She lost one. Oh no. What was she going to do now? She needed that coin. Well, here's what she did. She went through her whole house. Have you ever lost something? I bet you went through your entire room. You tore everything apart. Clothes were flying and shoes were flying. And I bet everything turned into a wreck, didn't it? Well, this lady, she wasn't as messy. What she did is she went through her whole house. She actually cleaned it up really, really good. She swept the floor to make sure that it didn't fall on the floor. She put things back where they belong and she looked in everything. She looked in the drawers. She looked in her, in her uh, vases. They're not vases. What are they called? I can't think of what they're called. <sighs> oh, well. She looked in all of her containers. She looked everywhere for this. She looked on her bookshelves. She looked high. She looked low. And she was just trying to find the one coin. Now remember, she had 10 to begin with. So how many does she have left? She would have nine coins left, wouldn't she? But she really valued every coin. Well, she ended up finding her coin. That's great, isn't it? It is. So she found her coin and then she's like, oh, I'm gonna tell all my friends. Oh, I forgot. Yep, she found her coin. So she's like, I gotta tell all my friends. And so she tells all her friends. And then she throws a party so that they can enjoy, enjoy it. And they can be happy with her. And they can be joyful with her. She was so, 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 so happy. Whenever you find your toy... I bet you're super happy too. You hug it and you're like, oh, I missed you so much. Do you do that? Maybe, maybe not. So that is the lady. Can you believe it? She was so happy. She went and told all of her friends and she was so joyful. That is what joy is. Okay, so we have love and now we have joy. Think about in your life, are you joyful or are you grumpy? Are you always grumpy? If you're always grumpy, you might want to be thinking about it, okay? Because one of the fruits that of 
Jesus living in our hearts, one of the things that we show is joy. Okay? Now, this week for our craft, we are going to draw our own coin. You may not be able to read this, it may be backwards. That's okay. It says, draw your own coin. Okay? Well, I drew my own coin. I think instead of people being on coins, I think dogs should be on coins. So I put dogs on a coin. You can draw whatever you want. You can draw, hmm, you draw a heart on your coin. You can draw scribbles on your coin. You can draw whatever you want on your coin because this is going to be your own coin. All right? This one is super, super easy. Right? Right. Okay. So you get to make your own coin, what you think the coin should look like. Or you can even draw what you think the lady's coin looks like. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. All right. Which now brings us to our song. So we have learned the first verse is the fruit of the spirit's not a coconut. Right? Right. Then we learned our chorus. Now we're going to go over the fruit of the spirits, not a banana. It's not a banana, right? All right, well, let's go over it. Now this one is fun. So remember how coconut we went, remember? Well, this time, whenever we say banana, you have to say it in a crazy way, like banana, okay? You have to say it in a crazy way. This is crazy, all right? It's not high, it's not low, it's crazy, like banana. All right, so let's go over this one. Ready? So it goes, the fruit of the spirit's not a banana. The fruit of the spirit's not a banana. If you want to be a banana, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit. Okay? Let's go over it. Let's actually sing it now. Ready? The fruit of the spirit's not a banana. The fruit of the spirit's not a banana. If you want to be a banana, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit. All right? So you got to be crazy about this one. Can you do that? If we're gonna do the tongue clicking, then we also gotta be crazy. We gotta do all the voices, cause it'll be more fun. All right? All right, so keep practicing the song. Practice it, practice it, practice it. Remember, you can also go back to last week's and you can practice all of those words, all of that jumble, okay? You can keep practicing it. And that part is slow. So you can go over it slow and then get faster and faster and faster. Okay, you'll get it. All right, let's go ahead and pray and then our lesson will be done, okay? Let's bow our head and close our eyes. Dear Jesus, thank you for today. I thank you that we're able to still have Sunday School online. Please help us to do our best and to remember the fruits of the Spirit and that we show love when you're in our hearts and we show joy when you're in our hearts. Help us to practice that this week. And if we're not, then will you please remind us and help us to do it? Because it's only because of you that we can do it. We thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys. Have a good week. I'll see you later.